Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in a Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we'll be getting into the shared repository once again and trying to understand after editing, what if I want to compare multiple repositories together? And at the same time, what if at some point of time it is required for me to again combine multiple repositories to be one? So today we'll be understanding in this tutorial that how you can actually compare multiple shared repositories, create the differences between them, and when required, you can even merge them to be called as one, and then make use of that single repositories, because at times it can definitely become that you may have multiple shared repositories, which you need to be called every time, all of them to run a particular end-to-end -end test. So finally, when it comes to system testing, you may combine all the repositories which you may have and definitely make use of them as one. So today we'll be understanding the same. Let's have a look in more detail. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding how to compare shared repositories and how to merge shared repositories. In order to continue ahead and understand the same, of course, we do know now what exactly the shared repository is all about. And at the same time, we have understood in our previous tutorial how to edit the shared repositories. But when it comes to at some point of time where you will require that there are multiple shared repositories for different transactions, different use cases which you have created, and now it's time you want to have them all together to do a system testing or maybe end-to-end -end testing, you would really require them to be at one place or within a particular shared repository and that's where this option becomes more important and crucial for the testers to put them all together at one place and that's where I would like to quickly show you that how you can actually compare the shared repositories and merge them if required now for that we'll be quickly creating some shared repositories which are uh, on the application and we'll have different objects to showcase the comparison so right now I'm creating a shared object repository by adding the objects into the repository. So I just click on add objects and select the parent object and say OK. And this will be just quick because you know how to add the objects to the repository. And I'll be saving this as export local objects. And uh, I'll just save it as, uh, you know, the login repository. And that will be as .tsr, which is shared object repository create. Now I'll add more objects in this, which is by logging into this. So for example, the username is John, the password is HP, and I press OK. And I add more objects, but let me just delete these things because they already exist in a repository. So now I can go ahead and add more objects to this using this and say OK. All the object types as a part of it. And let me continue doing this work, but finding flights and include this as well so that we have everything in the other repository and let's select a flight click on select flight and add this as well so now I'm just creating another repository which will be different from the login and we will name this as fly so that we have two different object shared repositories to be compared so click on export local objects once again and let's name it as fly and uh, create it now assume that this was all something which you have done for the last few sprints when you were working on different applications and it's time you want to quickly check that what other repositories have and how what's the difference between them so when you go to resources you do have again the same option that is object repository manager which can allow you to compare the repositories so if you navigate to the tools option in the object repository manager you have an option called as object repository comparison tool if you click on that it gives you a side by side window view and at the same time ask you for the first and the second file to compare so just browse this file go to one which is login and go to the second one which you want to compare with it which is fly and press ok now it will just do a quick comparison it will give you the statistic and report as well that what is that it could not identify in everything so there are 65 unique objects to the second file four objects unique to the first file and two identical objects in both the files and has a very good detailed statistics what one needs actually to understand and this is also a quick comparison side by side telling you that whether this exists here or what's the property of this what's the property values and so on 
So right now you can have a great comparison right next to each other with a comparison here that what does not exist, what exists and so on. So this is a great comparison and side by side scrolling as well which will confirm you that what's the difference between the two repositories. Now let's go with the next option here that what if I want to merge both the repositories and call it as one repository so that I don't have to associate multiple repositories when I want to do a system testing. For example right now if you want to associate the repositories you will have to go to the object repository and then click on tools associate repositories right we don't need these local objects anymore let me delete them so you generally go for associate repositories now of course at this point of time you need to import two repositories to do the test which is again doing it manually two times to open them and associate now at some point of time you have both the objects available in the application so you don't need two different repositories so how to do the merge you again go to object repository manager and again in the tools option you have the second option there called as object repository merge tool when you click on that again it will ask you the primary which you want to retain and the secondary which you want to merge to the primary so let's select any one of these for example let's say login as the primary file and the secondary to be merged to it is the fly let's click on open again and now we have both of them press ok and that's where the merging happens so no uh, zero different objects with the same name two test objects were identical and have been uh, you know adding different descriptions and so on and zero test object with similar description so putting it all together they have combined everything if you see they just want an acknowledgement and you are done okay on the side again you can see everything so take the name uh, from the primary file or the secondary file so I said yes uh, uh, for these two conflicts which we have take the name from the primary file okay so click on next conflict that's this one click on next conflict so I think you are pretty much done and they are all okay now finally once you are done with this comparison to take the names and replace them click on save so save which one so you want to have a combined repository so you just click on the one which you want to save it as and just replace it now the only thing which you need to do in order to check this is just open one of the repositories which you just created so the login TSR if you open now you would see all the objects combined together but initially the login repository had only few of them which was only related to the login part now it has everything which is merged together and again now it's a combination of login as well as fly put together so you don't really need any two different repositories to run your end-to-end -end test to book a flight now this is how it can be done and it's much simpler and easier for anyone to get started and merge the repositories well that was all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning